Thanks, guys at Regional Urology for sponsoring The Tim Fletcher Show. Hey, if you're even close to being worried about low T, just give them a call and go in and talk to Dr. Moss. It's really not that big of a deal. If Fletcher can do it, anybody can. The number is 683-0411. 683-0411. That's Regional Urology sponsoring The Tim Fletcher Show. Okay, all right. And Artie's going to get the mic on uh, Dr. Moss here from Regional Urology. Right Homer and Monticello probably were a lot of like growing you know, as far as communities growing up. Did you did you ever hear of a baseball game? Just a play around baseball game called Country Jet, where you could play with you could have five guys. Yeah. All you had to have was a pitcher and a hitter, and then three fielders. Yeah. And if you're a fielder, if you caught the ball in the air, you got to go from fielding to hitting. Yeah. If you caught the ball on one bounce, and if you threw it back to the pitcher, either on one bounce or on the fly. Then you went to pitch, the pitcher went to the hitter, and the hitter went to the outfield. That was the only way we could play baseball in our neighborhood with only four or five guys. Yeah, you just didn't have enough. Now, that's a lot of rules. You know, we probably did something <laughs> similar to that, but we just made it up as we went. <laughs> yeah. Now, we got four or five guys. Well, that's days. the way it goes. Now, of course, next oh. week, I believe, yeah. I get an injection today, which I think is my 10th injection. Yeah. So I think it's time for me to do it. I cannot tell you in words how much of a difference you and regional urology have made my It is absolutely amazing. Well, we're honored. We're honored to be your uh, caregivers and uh, figure out what's wrong with you and help you. Uh, it's it's really a pretty neat deal doing a low T. You know, it's it's a patients are motivated once you make their diagnosis. They're, they're very reliable. It's very rarely that they miss their appointments. Uh, they're motivated, and you know, you see pretty quick results. You know, low testosterone is not is doesn't answer everything. You know, if you have it, you need to get it corrected. Uh, but it doesn't it doesn't solve everything. But you know, when all the symptoms are due to that, it's pretty amazing the response people get. It seems like one of the phrases that I hear from so many guys that have, when they find out that I'm doing this, they go, yeah, I need to do this, or I'm doing this, or I've been through this. It seems like one of the phrases that I hear about more often than not, it felt like I was in a fog. Yeah. You know? Yeah, you just, your meditation slows. You just don't think as quickly, and you find yourself being tired in the evening, going to bed early. You know, just, just not, you get up and go, got up and left. How do you tell if you're a man whether or not it's work is kicking my butt uh the wife and the kids and work the boss is on me all day long i'm just worn out how can you differentiate that feeling of just life kind of yeah. beating you down compared to the feeling that you get when it may be low testosterone is that something that you guys encourage look you need to come check it out. It may not be your boss wearing you down. It could be something yeah. else or what kind of fi that fine line. Well, the answer, it's real simple. A lot of times in medicine, it's not as clear cut as this, but this is a blood test away from making the diagnosis. And the, the most reliable time to do your blood test, assuming somebody's not on any testosterone at all, and they're just living their life out naturally, but they have the symptoms, you need to do it in the early morning. Not that real early morning, but mid-morning, because in a normal sequence of events, uh, men release testosterone in the early morning hours, you know. And so if you catch it about 10 to 11 o'clock in the morning, that's probably when it's going to be at about its peak. And if it's low then, it's going to be low. You know, and sometimes if it's people can't get in those hours, we just do it in the afternoons. If it's low, it's low, and we treat it, and we go by their symptoms. You know, it's one of those things, Dr. Jimmy Moss joining us from Regional Urology, uh, Right there, Burt Coons in the I-49, you know the place, 6830-411. I like saying the phone number like that because it really is a place where you can get some information on your body. 6830-411. Uh, Regional Urology, supporting the Tim Fletcher Show, and uh, they have done wonders for me. I, I feel the difference. You mentioned something just now, uh, Doc, about the men release testosterone in the morning. What does that mean? Like when we go to use the bathroom or when we sweat, how do you mean when we release testosterone? That's just the way your body is programmed. It's a diurnal rhythm. That's the way our pituitary hypothalamic system, all that works together. And it's just it's been well documented. That's when every man releases testosterone in a normal situation. It's that early, early morning time. And one thing you guys have talked about is, you know, men start losing testosterone after the age of 30 or so, in general. Yeah, that's uh, early, not time. everybody. But, right. you know, it can't. It's, I've, I've seen guys in their mid-20s, and I, I just saw a guy in his very early 30s last uh, two weeks ago 
that came because of the show, and he was profoundly low. I mean, he was so low, I did some other tests to be, see, be sure his pituitary gland um, was not a problem, and it was fine. It was just, just generic low T, and he's on the shots, and you know, I got a, got a text from him last week. He's already seeing, seeing a turnaround. Yeah, yeah. But if it wasn't for this show, he would have been in the dark. Well, and that's what we're here for, you know, because yeah. this is, you know, someone, we had a guy call you yesterday to the show, uh, Doc, uh, Ed Hardy and I were sitting there and he got, mm-hmm. first call of the day, first time he had ever seen the show, listened to the show, watched the show. He says, what is this show about? You know, <laughs> we're like, well, we're a sports talk show, <laughs> but we also do guy talk, we do, yeah. you, know, you know, goofy talk, and, you know, rip on each other and that kind of thing, but... You know, one of the objectives of this show, I think, is to help make Shreveport Bozier. We want to try to make it a more communal place, and we certainly want to be there for guys. And, you know, this is mostly guys listening, mostly guys watching, and we want guys to be better guys. Yeah. And one of the best ways to be a better guy is by making sure that you can do all that you can do. We've got more from Dr. Moss coming right up, but did you know that regional urology has actually two locations? If you live in Bozier or in Houghton, then the Bozier location is probably going to be an easier spot for you. That number is 741-6077, but actually, if you call the main line, 683-0411 or toll-free, 866-683-0411, you can get either place, either location, Shreveport or Bozier. I'll take care of you guys. 683-0411. Thanks, Regional Urology, for sponsoring The Tim Fletcher Show.